So uh, one of our responsibilities in community service is to deal with the mice. Big mice problem throughout the city, keep getting called out to the alleyways to deal with it. Uh, Lexi's been on the case for a little while now, but uh, apparently it's getting worse. In fact, uh, mice, are getting, mice are getting territorial and uh, organized, to say the least. So come in and check it out, come in today, see, what, uh, see what's going on. So. Lexi, what am I looking at? All right, so I figured if I made the mice a little, a little comfy home, they wouldn't have to keep breaking into people's houses. Um, but don't worry, I know what you're thinking. Um, I have, so far, we have a little kitchen area so that way they can stay fed, and I like to bring them little snacks so they get extra comfy. Um, they have a little bathroom area so they can do their business, and of course, we have a little um, washing machine. So that way they can wash their little nasty paws and stay nice and clean. Okay, uh, Joan's taking forever, so let's just get started. Okay, we got everybody. We got Lexi, Seth. Seth. Me, Ashley, Denise, just Joan. It's Dennis. So I've been volunteering with the city of Milwaukee for about six years now. Uh, last year, the city started placing people with court orders for community service, specifically with me. Uh, since that time, some of my regular crews stopped coming. So that's fun. Look, my crew isn't what it used to be, all right? All right, everybody. Before we get into our assignments for today, I thought I'd make a little announcement. Uh, we haven't been working super well as a group. I think you can tell that. Um, but. You know, in spite of that, I decided to get us a little something, spruce us up, boost morale. What is it? Thanks for asking, Dennis. Um, we were supposed to get vests from the city. I screwed that one up, but I did get us some name tags and a new name. So we are the Milwaukee Independent Labor Group for Public Hospitality. Oops, sorry, wrong one. There you go. Uh, there's a misprint on there. Just ignore that. I mean, how did I end up working here? I caught an assault charge. Uh, one of my coworkers kept stealing everybody's lunches. And so one day I put a bunch of laxatives in my lunch as a trap. Worked out great, except Turns out she's allergic to one of the ingredients in the laxatives. Ended up getting hospitalized. Uh, yeah, she won't be trying that again. <laughs> she got what she deserved, and that bathroom is deemed unsalvageable by the fire department. Yeah, I've been doing community service for like two years now. I still have some time left. 
what did I do? Um, it's actually a really funny story. You're gonna love this. Um, so I just got this big audition and it went super well, super well. So then me and my castmates, my castmates, we went out to celebrate and we got drinks at this karaoke bar, right? And it was going super well. My friend, my new friend, my new BFF was went up to sing, great singer. But then this dude, this random guy started to like boo her really bad. And that was just not okay with me. I was shocked, like she was doing such a good job and he started to just be super rude. So of course, as all a natural what I would do as her friend, I threw my drink at him, obviously. And then he retaliated and it broke out into a huge bar fight. It was really crazy. <laughs> Gilly, um, she's an interesting one. Um, she's gonna try and tell you the food fight story, which is not true. She's a horrible actress and don't believe her because the real story is so much better, which is that she got rejected from the Sweeney Todd production at the community theater and wanted to cope. So she went to Water Street, got really messed up and decided to put on a one woman play of Sweeney Todd playing all the parts herself everything including the razors which is why there's a heavy police presence there after hours so the real story is that much better and i have no idea why she lies because a drunken theater kid rampage is honestly something to be proud of all right everybody let's get to our assignments for today uh, just a couple of reminders we still have a critical missing going on um last seen in t-shirt and some sort of swim trunk shorts just keep a look out for that all right, uh, our main focus today, east side, Dennis and Natalie, you two are on cleanup. Standard procedure for today, parks, beach, woods, roadside, mainly focusing on the beach. Uh, next, we've got our city beautification and community engagement. Lexi and Ashley, you two are on that. You're going to be hanging up some birdhouses from last week's community engagement event. And by children, good to go. All right. Finally, Seth and I. Scythe. Scythe and I are going on another geocaching incident. I decided to take one for the team today and paired myself with Seth. He tends to freak a lot of the other members out. But personally, I think he's alright. Honestly, he'd be the last person you'd expect to be a willing volunteer, but he's been with us for years, actually. I mean, you know, he doesn't show a lot of enthusiasm for the work, but he hasn't missed today, and he's just fine at whatever task gets thrown his way. So, we get a lot of non-emergency public health calls, like cleaning storm drains, shoveling snow in the winter, but we have this one regular who calls a lot. Speak of the devil. Hi, Dawn. Hi. Hello. I'm pissed. What is it today? Up, Come on. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Come on. Are we looking at the same thing? It's everywhere. Look. It's a gang sign. It's an S for the snakes over here. They're planning arson. Don, it's chalk. They're planning arson. We've, we've talked about this, Don. You have neighbors who are children. Yeah, children who, by the looks of it, in a couple streets, instead of it chalk, it'll be spray paint. Well, look, here's what's- What if it tagged your house? Here's what's gonna happen, Don, okay? It's gonna rain. Okay. It's gonna rain, like, tomorrow. So all of this will be gone and you don't have to worry about it, okay? It'll be gone how long until it comes back. And it's something permanent. Bye, Don. Or worse, what if it's the arson? Bye, Don. They're gonna burn my house down. Night, you can't just leave me here. We're out in the city investigating today another geocaching incident. Uh, it's been going on for about three years now. Yeah. Huh, it's about the time you join, right? A little after, okay. all right, all right. Um, anyway, there's this serial pranker who goes around and puts things inside of the geocaches. All sorts of tomfoolery and nonsense, you know, glitter bombs, car alarms, people's personal information. 
like IDs, found a whole wallet in there one time. And uh, the authorities don't really care. No one seems to be super interested in this case, so I've taken it in my own hands. Uh, here, I've been tracking him for a couple years now. Um, he's over here at the swing park on the east side, you know, social security. I don't know, this guy's good. It's really hard to figure out what's going on. He's, there's no rhyme or reason, there's no pattern. Sometimes there are repeats, so I'm having a really hard time cracking this case. I feel like I'm guiding a lab rat through a maze with little food pellets. It's exhilarating. We're close, I know it. Scythe, what's that paper say? The coordinates are close. Oh, give me this. Jesus. All right, I think it's somewhere up this hill. You don't should hide things in bushes, this slippery little guy. Oh, I found it! All right, let's check it out. Okay, looking at a pen, a little cat, a little race car, standard, standard so far, but you never know with this guy. You know, sometimes, okay, all right. People like to sign their names. Oh my God. It's my Netflix password. It's him. How does he know this? You know, now I think about it, there's a new account on my Netflix. I just thought it was Ashley, but this makes more sense. Oh my God. It's a sickle. Oh my God. It's a double event. I've only ever dreamed of this moment. We gotta go! Man, this freaking sucks. I hate doing this. This is the worst job. It's such crap. Are you mad because I'm finding more trash than you? No, I don't, I don't even care about littering. I think it's whatever. I just like, I wish we were doing this thing that Joan's doing with like the geocaching or whatever. You don't get sick of hearing about that? Like Joan is obsessed. Yeah, but like anything that she's like obsessed and passionate about, like I'm also like obsessed and passionate about because I'm obsessed and passionate about her. Yeah. So like, I'm just like interested in it by osmosis. You know, she's like, She's the light of my life. Yeah, she like I know. she lights up my world. Like that's true. Like I, I don't know what I would do without her. Like I don't think my that. life would be worth living. Like I, I know. think if I didn't have Joan, I think I would probably just like walk into the lake into yeah. that, like that cold, cold water. It's right there. I mean, I like Denise. He's pretty cool. He's fun to be around. You know, he's pretty cute. So when he realized that Joan's a lesbian, I will be here. I like to woodwork. I like woodworking. I like everything about it, you know, the, the sanding, the routing, the smoothing, but it's not about the wood. It's about working with my hands. It's the thing I just, I really like to get up in there and just use my hands. You know, my ladies, uh, my lady friends <coughs> at the retreat, uh, they always compliment me on my, my hand work. I just love seeing women succeed, you know? The sisterhood, such a bond. Just connect so easily with women. There's like a magnetism there with women. Never felt that magnetism that I do with women, with, uh, with men, with any, any man. Yeah. Oh, Dennis? Yeah, ma magnetism, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, say that. Uh, I really, uh, I love it when, uh, um, well, I like it when he grows out his hair. I think that looks nice. Um, he's got nice hands, you know, he's soft. Soft skin, smooth. He's, uh, 
He's sensitive. He's a kind soul. Very emotional. Very emotional. Um, great mom. Love his mom. Sisters. Great. Good family. Good family to be around in general. So. Just like Joan is just like so cool. Like just like the love of my life. Like I think we'll probably be like together forever. Probably till we die. Like, I think we'll probably be one of those couples where, like, when one of us dies, like, the other one dies, like, right after. Just because, like, I feel like it's, like, that strong, you know? You know? She's just, like, she's so cool. She's so beautiful and, and, and good-looking, you know, and whatnot. Yeah. Um, I don't really know what it is. I just, I can't really do relationships. They just kind of like never work out for me. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, um, so I got community service for a possession chart. Um, I had to go to the courthouse to pay a parking ticket. Um, and I had to walk through one of those metal detectors. I didn't realize they were going to check your bags. Um, and they found, they found my stuff. Um, and it was actually really embarrassing. Um, they just laughed at me while I got arrested. But I don't, what about you and Joan? You guys have been together for forever. Um, you got any tips? Like, how's that? How does that work? Yeah, I don't know. We've been together for like five years, and just like I've never, you know, been so happy in a relationship, and you know, felt like so strongly that someone is the one for me. Where it's like, I think like the secret is that you just have to be willing to like compromise on like almost everything mm -hmm. and like accept the fact that you'll probably be unhappy like a lot of the time, and it's just like a lot of hard work you have to do mm. yeah but like mm. i think that we just have like a, this love that's so intense that it was just like it'll never go out yeah yeah i'm not gonna lie i've thought about being with women before but it's like i always say you're not a race car driver until you actually sit behind the wheel joan might as well be dale earnhardt yeah me and joan um I don't know, I guess you could maybe say something's been going on. Um, I've known her for about a year. Her and Dennis, yeah, they haven't been doing anything for a long time, rumor has it. And I heard they sleep in hey. separate beds. Oh, hi. hi. Um, I've got like 15 minutes left on my break if you want to come watch me change the tire. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll meet you, yeah. yeah. I have to go, actually. Um, can we finish this later, you think? Um, yeah, I'll catch you at the end of the day. Bye. So Lexi and I have been working together for a couple of months. We usually do like city beautification projects. And our most recent one, we're making these birdhouses. We're working with kids in the community to try to, you know, get them involved, make it a little nice. Um, some kids are better artists than others, but that's okay because, you know, all art is important, especially when done by children because we need them to know that their dreams matter. Hey, did you guys leave this on my property? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why? It's art from a community engagement I worked very hard on my landscaping and this is making, this trash is making everything look hey, worse. Hey, that's not trash. This it's isn't art. This trash. This is art. This isn't trash. Kids made that. It looks like it. I don't want that on my property. You're being rude. I... whatever. Have a good day. Hey, f*** your community engagement. Are you f***ing kidding me? You're a Are you... like... I'm a This is a peaceful neighborhood, okay? You... I hope you have a good day. <laughs> he was just so mean. Like, he threw him at us. I know. Why don't people ever understand what we're trying to do? We're just trying to make it a better place. I'm like... It's all the garbage! It's not garbage! Whatever. I, do you want to tell Joan? No. Don't tell Joan. We won't. We won't. Alright, we're at our second location. We're trying to find the next geocache.
There's so many clues around here. Look, there's the oak tree, the bridge. Oh, I mean, it's around here. It's around here somewhere. I know it. I can smell it. This guy's good, though. He's really good. There's plants, little clues everywhere. Okay, all right. Let's check over here. I think I'm getting close. Oh, there it is. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's got all my personal information. It's got my social security, my visa, my address, places I frequent, Home Depot. He knows I go to Home Depot. How does he know that? How does he know this? Wait a minute. I must be missing something. Everybody's here, watching me, mocking me. But what does it mean? She's gotten so invested. I love watching her squirm. She never suspected it was an inside job. <coughs> oh my God, you're fine. It's just You'll like, be fine. this is so boring. Like there's oh, not even any no, good trash. I like know. not finding any interesting trash. This is the off season for trash. No, like, I, I know, know it is, okay, but in the summer, we're gonna get more syringes. We're gonna get more beer cans. Maybe a dead body. Who knows? Hey. I know. I just I want to find like a dead fish or something so bad, or like like a, like a rat oh would be my cool. Gosh. You look, we're almost done. The end of the beach is right there. Look at this though. Like, who would even leave this here? People like, leave such nice these stuff. These are perfectly fine. Like, I'm gonna take these home. Like, like look who at would this. Leave this. People are scum. Look at this. Yeah, this shirt is so. Shirt. Oh my god. Oh my god. You should probably just like put oh it back. Oh my god. Look. Oh, oh my like god. I just like shouldn't tell anyone. Uh, uh, what do I do with it? I don't want to hear. Just put it back. Oh, should, should, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look. Okay. Good thing my gloves are on. I don't yeah, want like, my fingerprints on that. That could be somebody else's problem. Someone else would find, can find um, it. I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up. I mean like do it in the bag or something. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> <sighs> Oh. oh my god, you're fine. You're yeah. acting like we didn't just find a bloody shirt. Oh, I mean, it's like, it's whatever. People die every day. Oh my god. People are always finding bloody shirts. Like, I don't know. Not really. I don't know. I don't oh know. my god. How did your work assignment go? Good. Anything special? I mean, we found some shorts and a shirt. Lovely condition, so, you know. That's weird. Free bag. What about yours? Um, now that it's raining, Dawn, we went back to Dawn's house. More chalk. Doesn't understand the concept of children, I think. I don't know. We also hung up some birdhouses. Oh. The geocacher is getting good. Found all my personal information in one of them today. Social security, phone number, address, Netflix account information, places I frequent, you know. It's concerning. John, why are we inside? It's raining. And? And it's cold. Why are we in? I'm trying to dirty you guys up. 
Gotta get some dirt. Gotta get some grit on your shoes. He'll thank me for it one day. You know, after today, I don't think these guys are that bad. Definitely got some promise for the future. Got a few good ones. Seth, or Scythe. Delightful little weirdo. Um, Natalie. Angel. Yeah, I'm hopeful. I'm really hopeful for the future for these guys. I think that we'll be able to do some good work for our community, really pull together. And I think that after today, in particular, oh my God. it'll be good. Oh my God. Hey, what's going on? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Is it really right. like your right. Let's put your on it. No, that's not Joan. 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 Oh my God. Joan. 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 Oh my God. Joan. 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 Find that. Put a sec geocacher. Oh God. Oh God. Oh. Is it real? Is it a geocache? You're a freak. Oh. You are Don't a freak. touch it! Don't touch it! Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's broken for sure. Ew. Oh, oh my god! god. It's the oh, here. it's real. Oh, it's still warm. Oh, oh my god! god. Okay. Thank you.